Hello, Uncle from Tactical Gamer here again. I'm uh, just creating that sector control team versus team mission um, for an event today that we're holding uh, for the last event of 2016 at Tactical Gamer where the admins are going to go against the players. Um, so I just wanted to add a little few notes about uh, another tutorial on some things about adding points to the sector control and I also wanted to throw in here using compositions because it's come up in some of the discussions I've had with some of our mission makers. So what I've done here real quick is I've just created some teams here. So this is the team where we've got a squad leader, uh, two medics that are attached to them, and an engineer as part of the, the squad leadership team. Uh, and then I've got a fire team which is conventional. So a team leader and a grenadier with him, an automatic rifleman, and an assistant to carry ammunition and then copy, copied each of these um, teams uh, and set their group names to be something custom. So Dagger 1 is basically the first squad in Dagger Platoon um, and then set up the teams to be, you know, uh, that would be Dagger 1 Alpha. I just removed the Dagger because obviously a squad knows what platoon it's in uh, and won't be communicating directly to platoon even though there is no platoon level here. It's just basically one squad with some platoon assets with the medic and the engineer attached to them. Anyway, so what I want to do is create a composition using these players that I can easily add into another sector control mission later on. Okay, so to do that, I have selected all of those players. Okay, I might even grab just to make it nice and easy, um, I could grab the uh, marker as well. So I'm going to hold down control and click the marker and it should be selected as well. I'm going to scroll back and grab my players from the other side. All right, And that marker, so select those all, left control, let go. Now I should have all of that selected. I can double check by going on my right side and I don't. So I could just do it here by holding down my left control and selecting all of these units as well. And I want to make sure I got the markers. Where would they be on the list? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, select all those. Select all these. Oh, that's easier. All right. Find my markers. Should be a marker down here that's selected. There we go. Now I know I've got all those objects selected. I'm going to go over to the right side to props. All right. Uh, no groups. It's called compositions now. And I'm going to go to custom composition. And. Okay. That's right, I need to right click on my selection now and then save custom composition. Okay, so here I might say um, blue versus in 32 players. So that tell me it's a composition for uh, TVT blue versus independent 32 players because I've got 16 on each side. So category, I'll put down, let's say, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess uh, Woodland would be okay. That's funny, because it's not really, I wish it was just a category here for just Something a little more simpler. Uh, yeah, there we go. Men. Okay. So I save that. Now I've got under category men, I've got now that composition. So I could quickly just place it and now I've got that. So now I can add it to other missions nice and quick and easy. I've got a respawn marker. I've got custom players. All right. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if I can delete all of that just like that. Perfect. 
Okay, so that's how comp custom compositions work. Now what I wanted to add again to this mission uh, as I've created all this fortified stuff around here, make it kind of interesting to fight for these sectors. Um, Alright, so you've got several layers to fight through before you can get it right into the sector perhaps. Um, is on these sectors alone, in sector alpha, I wanted to make it so that you um, independence, let's say your, your enemy team uh, loses 10 points or you gain 10 points. I think I want to set it up so that you gain, when you gave control of the sector, you gain 10 points. Okay, so this is a score, but it has nothing to do with the respawn tickets. So I'm going to set that back to zero and I'm going to use the expression code to set up some points. So, owner side, this expression passes the owner side as this select one uh, whenever ownership of the module changes hands. So I'm going to use that to go and add 10 tickets to whatever side owns this module. So it would be this, select one. So that's the side that just got gained ownership. Um, I'm going to add 10 tickets and then it would be call this function, whoops, um, respawn tickets, which will then add 10 tickets to whatever side just gained control of the, the um, sector. So I'm not going to use a hint at all. So I'm going to copy the same code into all of my other sectors. And I'll give you a, a quick look at some of these. So here's the uh, Bravo sector uh, I created. Um, so there's only one entrance to get into here, uh, and it's a bit of a maze to get in there. So it should be quite defendable in a little spot in the middle that you can hunker down and try and hold back uh, the enemy onslaught when you own this sector. So it could be kind of interesting to fight over. Also, today we're going to be running uh, the Advanced Movement Mod, I think it's called, something like that where you should actually, I think, be able to bound over top of these as well, climb over these in the middle. So um, you can use it for cover, but somebody could just, let's say, climb over the wall here, come around and get you. So it could be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, otherwise, let's... What happened to all my stuff? I, I definitely don't want that to have happened. Oh, right, because I'm, I backspaced out for the camera. All right, so back to here. Uh, I want my Bravo sector, right? I seize reward. I want to be zero. I'm just going to paste in that same code uh, because it'll work just the same on this module. When it changes hands, whatever side owns the module gets 10 extra tickets added to their score. All right, simple enough. Sort of the same thing up here where I've created a fortified position. This one's a little simpler. Um, I created the open area that you got to fight up to the top of the hill to make it a bit more interesting. But once you get up there, you got a chance to hunker down a bit. But Charlie's a bit tougher to hold, so it should be it should move uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so Charlie, see I've selected Bravo again. There, so Charlie's actually selected. Caesar's Ward zero expression, and this one's pretty cool. Uh, this one here. Uh, I created some outpost positions around it so that you could get into a fortified position, maybe get overwatch from uh, a few different sides onto this objective. And there's another one over here. All right, help you be able to hold it. But what's kind of neat about this one is that there is actually only you can enter through here or you can go through the door and around here. So there's two entrances into this. Once you get into here, there's a corridor that's all the way around it here that you can then go up this little ramp run out around the outside again um, but you unless the, the advanced movement mod is on you wouldn't be able to get into there and I also created some ramps so that you can get up get onto the roof uh, and down that sort of thing uh, different options for being able to get into this little area uh, and the capturable zone including this building out here anyway good enough uh, so zero for there, paste that expression in. So you can see now that basically I could save the entire mission 
as a composition. Okay, because I haven't got any scripts in this yet. I have to do a little bit of scripting to add in the group uh, manager so that people can change groups on the fly. Uh, some map markers that I want for player map markers to know when you you know where your players are on your side on the map. Um, and I think that's just about it. And there isn't any, I'm going to do some custom ammo boxes, uh, hopefully by the time the event rolls around, that will refill with some stuff here. Otherwise I'll just have to throw in an arsenal. Um, but yeah, I could just as easily save a custom composition now of the entire mission. Version 1, category, hmm, I wonder what, what there is for categories that would be applicable. I might just use other. That's simple. And there we go. I mean, I could just open up the editor at any time. Okay. Let's uh, create a new scenario on Stratus. All right. Let's go to Georgetown. It was so darn cool. Throw down the camera, right? And oh, it's pretty, be pretty tough actually for this. So let's just use this. I can grab now this and throw that down. If I saved it, I would have a fully functioning mission at this point. Uh, let's see how it worked out. You know what I mean? Um, so here's my players and the vehicles. Obviously, these are going to explode when they come in. So you got some things to move around. To delete players or units if you don't want them. Um, so yeah, I have barracks right in the middle of all of this. It's pretty funny. So yeah, there's lots of glitches to doing that, but you can see that you can easily throw down some objects, just move them around. Um, or delete what you don't want and you've got uh, a mission pretty quickly so there's that Bravo uh, fortification uh, anyway it's that simple uh, so I'm going to go back to my actual admin versus player scenario and let's just double check that when you gain control of a sector you get 10 points and that should be pretty simple. So in order to facilitate this nice and quick and easy, I am just going to plot myself down another player. Sure, I'm a sharpshooter. Uh, playable. Okay, let's hit it. Should be at the bottom of the list. There he is. And I'll delete that player before I go much further. As you can see, I've got 150 points set up for the players. I move into the alpha sector here. And I am now gaining control of alpha. Lots of neat little places to hide, hunker down. Control. I now have 160 points, so everything is working. All right, Uncle from Tactical Gamer. Hope to see you in game. I hope you create a lot of great scenarios for TVT because uh, I honestly I've just haven't had enough uh, TVT games within Arma, and it's gotten so nice and pretty simple to set up TVT now in the uh, the vanilla game. So that's great. Okay, catch you later.